With Montreal's goaltending having a shaky start to the season, the opposite has been going down in Laval, where the Rocket have had the best goaltending tandem in the AHL, arguably, to start this year with Jakob Dobesh and Connor Hughes. And this, well, this has a lot of implications for Montreal's future, including a lot of people calling for one of them to eventually replace Caden Primo as the backup. We're going to get into all of that and whether or not you should be worried about Primo. But we also want to talk about Emil Heinemann, one of the surprising surprisingly good stories for Montreal coming into this season with two goals one of the team leaders in hits early on a lot of Habs fans are hoping he can get some more ice time even in the top six we're going to break all of that down coming up on this episode of Hat Trick HQ but before we get into that Casey you know we gotta ask him we gotta ask him to subscribe to the channel we got some new hosts coming into the channel a bunch of you guys I believe over 70% are not subscribed so if you want to hit subscribe to the channel do it now it's completely free and you get the all the NHL content from around the whole NHL world and Casey let's start with Emil Heineman, and he's a guy that I think uh, a lot of us Habs fans are really, really impressed with. And right now, he has two goals in six games to start the season. But as you saw in that highlight reel, he has been good. He scored a shootout snipe. Even his first NHL goal was an absolute snipe. This guy has shown that scoring prowess that Montreal has looked for for a long time. He's younger than people seem to think he is. He is not like 25. I believe he's still 21 or 22. And Casey, he's been off to a torrid start, not only scoring two goals in six games, which is pretty impressive for a fourth line player but also being one of the team leaders in hits yeah 100 i mean this guy has been electric for the montreal canadians this season he's been been one of the bright spots that we never expected when the season started and it's just great to see one of these younger guys come in at 22 years of age and, and make an impact for this club i mean he's coming off a solid season in laval last year where he put up 29 points in 48 games but right now having two goals through six games in the nhl you could say he might be on a, a higher pace to get that uh in, in the big league, in the NHL, mm -hmm. and one thing that I've been praising and wanting for from the Montreal Canadiens is for them to give him more minutes. Because if you look at this lineup right now, yes, I know Josh Anderson is the guy in front of him. I am infamous for calling Josh Anderson stone hands because he can't do nothing with the puck on his stick. But what we've seen from Emil Heinemann so far this season is... I'm going to say it, I think he plays the way that I would like to see Uri Slavkovsky play. I think that's the way that we've wanted Slav to play ever since he came into the league. And Emil Heinemann has came in out of nowhere and kind of taken that away from him. Well, I will say that I'm sure a lot of it has come from Slav because Slav, uh, before going out with injury, I don't know if it's up to date, but he was leading the team in hits. It was him and Emil Heineman, number one and two. And Slav, not to mention, still is a point per game player so far this season. So he has still been really good, but it's that explosiveness that Heineman brings that really impressed me. And it's something that I, I knew was in him. And well, first of all, we all knew he had that NHL ready shot after first coming over to Laval a couple seasons ago, scoring, what, like six goals in his first six games. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but it might have been four goals in four games something like that he started off super super hot but that not only are we calling for him to move up the lineup and maybe I, I still like Josh Anderson maybe a bit more than you do Casey Ten if you guys know me if you guys watch Habs Digest you know I tend to be a little more positive on these things but I'm on board with you too I think Emil Heineman needs some more minutes I'm not opposed to moving him up it's hard to say to take Armia's spot because Heineman has not really shown that he's ready to play the right wing we haven't really seen it but we also know Marty likes to get creative with the lines so when it comes to Heineman Moving on off the lineup, whatever. I, I kind of just want to see him play a few more minutes. He played less than 10 minutes last game. But more than that, Casey, I know we've seen a lot of Oliver Kapanen on the second power play, and he's looked really good in that role. But that's somewhere I think I want to see Heineman right now. He has that high tier shot he has shown that already at the nhl and uh, i think that's the one place where i think we can get him a few more minutes in the game to bump that from eight or nine minutes up to 11 or 12 is if we give him some reps on the pp2 because i think that we would see some great production if we did that yeah he's very good at you know selling defenders and get him getting himself set up in a spot where he can release that cannon of a shot and place it very well in the top corner i mean his one of his goals this season he sat up in the hash marks ripped the one tee and it just went by the goalie and I think if you gave this guy more minutes got him on a line with Jake Evans and a veteran in Brendan Gallagher it would really help because Jake Evans he's such a good defensive center but Emil Heinemann has shown so far this season as well that he's great with his stick as well I mean he's been active on the poke check he's not afraid to lay the body at times as well so I think rewarding him by giving him a bump up to the third line 
isn't going to hurt the Montreal Canadiens in the situation they are right now. Obviously, they're looking to find uh, their footing. They they had a hot start to the season, but now are they on a four-game slide? So something needs to shake up here. It. But <laughs> Emil Heineman might be that guy who can come in and, and make an impact up there uh, higher in this lineup. But we want to hear your guys' thoughts on that down below in the comment section. Now it's time to talk goalies because the Habs Let's have a tough decision to make. And... I have got to say, with a Caden Primo start to this season, it has been shocking. He is 0-1-1 with an 880 save percentage, but Josh, the big number is the 4.21 goals against. I mean, he came in in relief for Samuel Montembeau, and he he just didn't look locked in. He looked like he was he was more unlocked than a Walmart bathroom stall. I mean, he was not. He just didn't look good. I mean, he just looked shaky Probably been in the net. Needed them. <laughs> yeah, I know. He he was like it just seemed like when he was squaring up with the puck, he didn't have great positioning. The guys the guys on the other team could just place the puck in the back of the net wherever they wanted. And it's just it's just not looking good for Caden Primo right now. But not to worry, because the Laval Rocket goalie tandem in Jakob Dobish and Connor Hughes has been exceptional to start this season. If we just take a look, Connor Hughes is 1-1, one, one, uh, one and one with one shutout, his win, his first win in the AHL being a 23 save shutout, rocking a 9.58 save percentage through two starts. But then we also got Jakob Dobesh, who has played really well in the preseason for Montreal, but has continued that success down in Laval with two wins and 902 save percentage, coming off a 906 save percentage last year with only two goals against. I mean, Josh, when you look at these young goalies that we have in our system, and you look at a guy like Caden Primo, who it has more holes than Swiss cheese. It seems like it's almost about time that, that we, we see one of these guys uh, come up. All right. So I'm going to preface this again by saying, you know, I, I, I'm an optimist when it comes to Montreal. And I think any of you who have seen my videos on, on other channels, you'll know that. So I am not ready to give up on Caden Primo. And I know you're kind of on the other side of that coin, KC. And I, I will hear you out. However... Primo has, last year, looked so, so, so good. And I know when he came in relief for Montembeau, I thought the same thing. I thought he didn't look that steady. But at the same time, 32 saves on 35 shots, I think, is what he ended up facing down the stretch there. The Rangers put up a lot of shots. He still didn't really let in goals. He was letting up some rebounds and stuff. And yeah, it's been a shaky start for him. But at the same time, the defense has done him absolutely no favors. Montreal's defense has been the worst in the NHL this year. And it is the worst I think I've ever seen for a Montreal team. And I don't think that's an exaggeration. So realistically like while he definitely hasn't looked the best we still don't really know what his ceiling is going to be what he's going to look like if the defense does lock in he's a he's a restricted free agent after this season so he will be a free agent for uh, the first time in a while and montreal will have to make a decision on him right they can let him go they could match an offer for him if someone offers sheets which they won't do they could extend him there's a lot of things they could do but you're very right casey in the sense that right now the presence down in laval if you can even cue those highlights again because i kind of want to see those again if you got them ready yeah i want to see some connor hughes and Jakob dobesh because these guys have been really really good and of course, Connor Hughes coming over from the Swiss League, um, where he has been phenomenal. He wasn't even drafted. He was not a highly touted prospect at all. Pretty much on no one's radar. But uh, Hughes went over, uh, came over from the Swiss League and has been absolutely unreal after a couple of stellar seasons there. But, uh, but yeah, Dobesh as well. Uh, like, here's the thing. These guys are going to put pressure, not so much Hughes, more so Dobesh, on a guy like Caden Primo. We can probably bring these down, although I, I, I honestly... I, I never, never watch them all day. Good... <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. I love watching goalie highlights, but realistically, Dobesh is one of these young guys. I know we talked a bit about Jacob Fowler before the show and stuff and how he's there in the future, but you never know what goalies. He could be another two, three, maybe four years away from being full-timer in the NHL. And in the meantime, you know, you're going to run out of Sam Montebo's contract. In the ideal world, you have Fowler, but realistically, Dobesh is that guy who's next in line in terms of young guys. He's only, what, 23, I think? He's 6'5". He's putting up good numbers. So I will say... It is maybe putting some pressure on Primo, but I think that's a good thing because I think it's going to light a fire under Primo's butt to show what he has in the NHL. I'm excited to see how he bounces back, but even even if not, even if Primo does end up not playing well, you have Dobesh there, you have a support system because even if one of these guys, Monty or Primo, gets hurt, you have a guy like Dobesh or Hughes who can come up and back up a game and you'll be confident in them. And even heading into next season, you have multiple options. Even though Connor Hughes is a UFA, there's no guarantee he'll resign. I think Montreal has a lot of options, so I think I'm less 
uh, you know, against Primo than you, but I, I get your case. I just think overall, hopefully this competitiveness, this, this fire coming up beneath him is going to like something in him to, to show what he's really got. Yeah, there's definitely no doubt about it. I mean, the future in the crease for the Habs looks amazing. I mean, obviously you have a yeah. guy like Jacob Fowler who could potentially be a generational goalie after just having Carey Price. I mean, that would be uh, really the good. best case scenario. I mean, he is playing some absolute incredible hockey right now and we could really use him right now in my opinion but that, that stunts his development we don't want that we, we want him he's to, still young he's yeah still young. he's still young we want him to come over spend some time in laval dominate the hl and then eventually come up to the big club in the nhl but you, you got Jakob dobesh who has looked great as well to start this season i just think i'm just a generational caden primo hater i mean how long has it been here now since we've been to, since we've seen caden primo a lot like three four seasons so am i am i that far off but i, I a couple of full time i mean he's never really been a full time guy he's never got that many reps until last year yeah it just seems like me personally whenever i hear caden primo is starting i'm like oh god here we go chalk another oh. one up on the bell on the, on the board because that's an l but with monty it's con the complete opposite i mean obviously he did have a rough game i'm not gonna blame it on him i think defense really had a bad lapse the other night but i, I do think that when there's quality i mean there's more quality when samuel montembeau is in the crease than there is when caden primo's in the crease and, and that's that, that's just my opinion i, I i've never liked caden primo i mean i hate to say it because i love the habs but whenever he's in the net I, i'm just scared to watch that game but i want to hear guys thoughts on caden primo down below in the comment section i'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people agreeing with josh and not agreeing with me but the couple people you know. the, the couple people that, Eyes are turning <laughs> against the habs right now some fans are not happy dude <laughs> yeah, i know i mean uh, who who would be happy on a four game slide when he looked so good to start the season but i i think it's going to pick up here in montreal the goaltending situation is definitely a, a fun one to follow here and i really do hope we get to see one of these guys from laval make their way up this season at some point it would be great to see but your guys thoughts yeah. uh, on everything down below in the comment section uh but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go down below hit that like button hit that subscribe button we're on the road for 5,000 subscribers here on the channel so if you're not subscribed already make sure to comment below and hit that subscribe button and if you want to check out a video uh, we did the other day or when we did this morning because there's so many videos going up on the channel lately it'll be popping up on your screen right now but as always i've been your host kc alongside my co-host josh goss keep your stick on the ice